YouTube fans here again and I thought of this one for a bit some time that being Indiana Jones and the Tistal Stull say it again Indiana Jones and the Tistal Stull come out in 2008 what can I say about it what can I say when I first saw it right I remember it was in a pub and they had like you know the TV spots when it first aired in the theatre in that era I thought, yay, a new wind there, a new wind there. It's been so many days, a new wind there, a new wind down the tone, Harry's from Ford, Pies is his role, and everything, right? And I went with a friend, went to the cinema, went to see it. I enjoyed it, but sad to say, with AIDS, it's not rent with a fine rhyme. More like a stale tease, more like a bad porridge, what's gone off, more like a dog turd. Because I like all the Indiana Jones films, right? I'm not going to go Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. To my eyes, it was Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, especially the uncut one, which is a lot more fine and a lot more traffic. I like Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. But this one, what I mean by it's not aged well. It's not aged well because unlike Raiders... Unlike the Temple of Doom, unlike the last Crusade, you've had practical stunts, you've had real explosions, you've had practical special effects. This was a CGR fucking ordassel. This was a CGR computer game piece of dog shit. It is. The only thing that I'd done going for it is you had an ad, right, where they were taking the mic from in there. It was advertising. I remember when it was advertising, but you have to see. Remember Raiders of the Lost Ark? You see where Indy goes under that top. Again, done by a real stunt man. Well, they sort of imitate that and they'd add. For now, I remember that more than the fucking film. That was the only entertainment was the ad. I do, there's some dud bits in it and there's some shit bits. So I'll get to the dud bits because the film, it's not going to be all effing and deafening. It's not going to be a big epic rant because there are some dud bits in the film. I like the bit where it has the original Paramount. If you've been remember what Paramount looked like in the golden days of the 70s and early 80s, and probably right through to the mid 80s, you know what I mean with the stars. I like the fact that the original Paramount. I like that. Um, I like the fact that they bring back Marion from Raiders, the bring her back, played by a game by Nancy Iron. I like the fact they have respect for one of the actors who sadly passed away. You might remember him in Raiders of the Lost Art and Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. I like that. And I like the love letter, what they sort of did in Raiders, where they pick it for a box, see a bit of the art of the covenant from Raiders, and they saw a love letter to Sean Connery. Now, I do remember, right, the Sean Connery, they wanted him to come back and prize his role as Indy's dad, but there was a lot of reasons at the time I saw Sean Connery retained it and I can see why they were the dud bits right they were the dud bits but the rest of the film not really unlike the fearful the patient in the 1950s there's a lot of reasons because like I said the last two said I felt it would have been a good story they did one maybe in the early 90s because all three was in the 80s if not, maybe do a version with that die in it. In the last two say the bit where Indy meets that fella and he imitates and you got that he inferences from this fella and he puts the hat on and, and you got that he, that Indy images him. Why not have him play his role? Make a fool with him in it where he's bad at first, he's doing bad things and he turns into a good guy. Because I would have thought that would have been really interesting after this actor. Because I like this actor. Not to say I've never seen him in a lot. I remember him in... I did the 13 part 5 and I remember him in an innocent man probably other things but not really that much and I, I thought he was really good in that and I'd love to see what his acting times would have been but no they left it too late and that's the truth of the matter they left it too late it starts off like I say the Paramount logo and it's based on the 50s you've got these fucking CDR steels when you've got CTR rodents, you know what you're getting for. You know what you're getting for. Then you've got fucking annoying 50s stereo kids playing 50s music. I get it. You've got Ray Winston. I like Ray Winston, but in this, not really. I just think he's missed sassed. And you get it, he's a lot older. 
it happens to resolve. Old age sucks ass. Sucks ass or it's... And because they left it too fucking late to make the next indie film, you get so much of the old man's joke in this. It is as old as the bald man joke. It is old as the fat man joke. I get it. It's getting old. Because they must use the old man's joke in this more times than soft fucking mitt. There's so much CDR, it is unbelievable. And I think I love Steven Spielberg. I can name loads and loads of his films. I love George Lucas. And I think myself, George Lucas, you know, he thought back Star Wars, whether it be The Phantom Menace, the prequels, and so on. He thought, why not another one? Steven Spielberg, why not another in then? It's like, he was going to do it, do it in the 90s. Do it from that guy I just said. He's respective. Or maybe another in there. Or maybe have a longer actor. Because it's imaging from Bond. Even when people say, well, what's the war was going on? Yeah, but he never paid him as an old folder. When Sean Connery did never say never again. He had ideas of making him into an old folder. He didn't. Because he just didn't go for that character. He did not go. And there was so much fucking CGI. And it's unbelievable. I do know there's going to CGI the fucking rip. Thank fuck that never happened. There's fucking action. The action, it looks like a video game. Nothing practical. You've got this woman. You've got the idea she's a Russian. I thought that was that interesting to have a female badder. Then Ray Winston turns. You want to see that done better? What's in Dana Dones and the last two said? The one I did the other night. There's nothing to it. The bit where they're getting chased into a jungle and it looks like a fucking computer game. Really does. It's wriggly, it's wobbly. And even the jungle is CDR. And it's just... Oh, it did. When I saw Marion, Pies of Woe, which is the only decent bit in the fucking film, all it did was make me want to watch Raiders or Temple of Doom or The Last Two Said. It really made me want to watch them. Now you get one kid in it, you got the idea like a James Dean, I get it, 1950s. And I thought, wouldn't it have been better to have Sorter? Remember Sorter from The Temple of Doom? I know he's a lot older, but I've been past the role. Short stuff, you know, from The Temple of Doom. Step on it, sorry. Have him come back. Because this lad is so fucking annoying, it's unbelievable. You get the idea that Indy's got a son. And I'm thinking, really? Really? So he's made it out with Mario. She me for my mum in Raiders, he tried to snog in there and he fell with feet and she says that epic line, we never do get a, a time to death for adult wear, but suddenly she has a kid to him. Where the fuck did that come from? Where the fuck did that come from? To do a bit with a snake, he's trying to pull his way up. How many times have I had the snake? Old man's jokes, it's so unbelievable. It is fucking mind-boggling in this film. And you've got a villain, there's a fight scene, there's a bit where this Pat Rolls was alive, this dies, no Pat Rolls. I get it, may you rest in peace. He falls him, knocks him into ants, okay, can let the ant CGI shit thing, uh, give me by ants dragging someone and eating it. I know, Indy was never realistic. I'll let that one go because how can you use real ants? But the rest is the CDR, CDR monkey, CDR this, CDR that. The one where he goes into an oven, blows him in the air, the oven fucking joke. How can I forget that? And you've got a Tistle Stull, right? But that reminds me, reminds me of House 2, the um, second story. But the one, that was a low budget film. House 2 was a low budget film and I felt that was done better. My eyes, I thought it was done better. It just looks like the Tistle Stool. If you remember the tacit comedy horror movie called House 2, the second story, I remember reviewing it. That was a better fucking film. Better film. And that's a low budget film. Could have had a lot more imagination. You've got aliens. Okay, I can get it. You've got fucking aliens. And I'm thinking, okay, I get it. It's the 1950s. He looks into the woman and eyeballs explode. You can't do that fucking practical. CDI explodes and Indy gets out with dodds. I do like the bit though where he marries Marion. I do like that. And you've got the art. It's going to blow in the wind. Indy gets it, puts it on his head, fucks off. But 
To me, I think they left it too long to make another in there. I felt George Lucas, Steven Spielberg was trying to get the mat tip back. Never worked. Trying to get the fucking rip back. Never worked. Too much CTR. CTR fucking monkeys. CTR steals. A CTR action scene. It looks like a fucking video game. Robbing all over the fucking place. Like you can't do a real fucking car stage scene anymore. Come on. They just left it too long in my eyes. It just didn't have the map to it of the first three. When I saw it, it got bits where you got the in of fucking Indy's dad. It just made me want to watch the last two Sade. It made me want to watch any of the other ones. I saw Mario. It made me want to watch Raiders. They're going to do another one. What incest? What? More old man's throat? What's next? I'm going fucking J. I'm using air. What? What? Old man's joke? If I want to watch Indy, I'll just watch Raiders, I watch Temple of Doom, I watch The Last Crusade, I watch the spin-offs, whether it be King Sullivan's Mind, whether it be Romance in the Fucking Stone, whatever, but this one. Some people like it, some people hate it. Over the years, people shit on Temple of Doom, but I still don't watch that. Because that, I see that with some practical effects. It's just that you had a date fucking scene with an air boom falling in the water. Yeah, that's a bit of effect and all. A bit dated, but it's just you had real practical explosions, practical stunts. I just felt like I was watching a fucking computer day. I'm going around the houses now, but it did. I don't think it aged well. I enjoyed it when it came out on the pictures, but in my eyes, it didn't age well. I just stick to the last two said, I stick to Raiders, I stick to Dent or Doom. I do not watch the TV series, the long adventures of fucking Inda. See that something different. But into them, be smart, be safe. I'll give it to Fed Athletes. Being nice there. See you later.